Hey everybody, it's Kyle here with another video. Um, I hope this video finds you well. Um, today's video I just wanted to talk about something that people have kind of said to me in the past, but I kind of think it's true. Um, I just want to talk about how my arms became my legs. I know that sounds really funny, as, and I'm not trying to say to be funny. Um, I have two arms and two legs. Um, but because my legs were so weak, I used to be in a wheelchair, I had to, you know, adapt. And by me adapting, my arms kind of compensated for my legs. I used to be in a wheelchair, and then I went to a walker, and then now I walk with arm crutches. And I don't think people really like think about how much you use your arms when you use arm crutches or push in a wheelchair like you do be, uh, build some serious strength I'm not saying I'm the strongest person ever I should probably work out more but my arms had to pull double duty for, as my arms and to compensate for how weak my legs were I at one point was in serial casting which is when they take your ankle and each week they move it so it becomes you know they stretch out your leg muscles or well your ankle muscles calf muscles all of that um, but I was in that for 36 weeks and all of that muscle um, kind of melted off um, so that really put me back in the leg muscle department even working out now is really difficult to build leg muscle just with wearing AFO's leg braces. Um, they don't really allow for you to build muscle, at least with my experience. Or maybe I'm doing it wrong. If someone has some advice, please help me out. Um, I have a real difficult time building leg muscle um, and you know even I remember when as a little kid I had to use my arms to pull myself up onto my bed like things you would normally do with your legs like uh, I would have to use do with my arms constantly holding myself up with my arms or just pushing myself in the wheelchair built my arm muscle walking with arm crutches constantly you know, it gives your arms a workout and kind of takes some of the load off of your legs um, but that's also kind of a bad thing because at some point you know using arm crutches could uh, wear out my shoulders and cause shoulder issues uh, so I have to be very careful I end goal was to try and walk without on crutches and at one point I was um, but then I decided to not wear my leg braces over the course of about a summer about three months and caused um, bones to shift in my left ankle which then needed surgery and then I never quite recovered from that um, so arm crutches it is and I'm fine with that for now I mean we'll see how far we go I mean I know that there are limits and you have to respect your limits and I'm not sure quite that I've reached my limits so we're gonna see how well it goes um, but yes constantly people are kind of surprised and I don't mean to brag because my, my my arms one second my arms in my opinion are not as big as a lot of people so like to me they're just my arms you know but people like I'm wearing a sleeveless right now I've had people be like wow you have arms like your arms are big and it's like oh like they are you know it's not that I know that they're they are a decent size but that's not even really from working out that's just what how much I've had to compensate um, 
and I think people are just so surprised that like yeah like because I have to work extra hard and adapt to my situations that's what's made my arms so big and they're like well if you're only your legs could be like that that's what I say you know if only my legs could be that strong and you know there is potential for that to happen I'm not the best at fitness and knowing what's great for my body you know I do my physical therapy exercises and I do what I have to do but you know I don't know if I could ever get my legs to be that strong um, I was going to the gym pretty regularly the last two months I kind of not so much but I really need to get back on it because the gym membership just came out of my bank account so I better not waste my money um, but my arms my arms becoming my legs um, really kind of just goes to speak about adaptability and doing what you have to do um, with a disability. You know, whether it be with a wheelchair or be with a walker or be with arm crutches and leg braces and just using adaptive and assistive technology. Living with a disability teaches you that, you know, it may not always be the simplest way to get something done, but you can get it done. Um, I know, just, I would constantly pull, use my arms to pull me forward, even swimming, using, like, I do kick my legs swimming, but the majority, I would say about 70% of me moving in the pool is my arms. Um, I'm trying to get better at, at it. I'm like actively thinking about it when I'm swimming, like kick your legs, kick your legs. Um, and I think a lot of times it really does take actively thinking about it for me. I know even sometimes it's like walking to class or even just walking around now that I'm out of school. Sometimes it's like, okay, Kyle, pick up your feet, like actively thinking, lift your foot, lift your foot like in my head thinking about it I don't think a lot of people even my parents realize how active it is of a process for me to you know cause rugs rugs are my worst nightmare my dad always gets mad at me that I put the rug out of place but he doesn't re I don't think he realizes how active it is like oh I didn't I gotta pick up my feet. I don't know, it should, some people might say, well, that should just be natural. It's not for me. Some days it's better than others, it just happens. Other days it really takes a constant, like conscious effort to move. Um, and that's really exhausting. Um, but, you know, yeah, like, it's the cards that I was dealt. I'm not complaining. It's just the reality of the situation. And I don't ever want people to think that, oh, you're just complaining. It's frustrating, but, you know, we just work with what we have. I don't feel like it should be a bad thing to complain or stress. But, you know, you do what you do. It's not saying like, oh, I wish, I wish I didn't have to, and like, why didn't it happen to me? I actually look at it as, you know, I was meant, this was meant to be me. I choose to look at it more in a positive way that like, you know, I meant to do something with this. I was given these cards with these set of circumstances to do something about it, and I'm hoping that this YouTube channel is part of that doing something about it, creating openness and a safe place to talk about disability and the struggles that we go through and without feeling judgment. Because um, people are very quick to judge. People are very quick to judge without really wanting or caring to understand why that person is saying something that they are. But, you know, that's what I hope to do. Um, and I hope this video inspires well, this channel in general, but this video and every video in the future, 
um, to, to, you know, say, hey, I agree with that or I don't. And if you don't agree with me, let me know. If you do agree with, with me, let me know. I'm not saying that's why I named this channel My Disabled Experience, because it's my disabled experience. It's not any of yours. I'm not claiming that I'm a one-size-fits-all, but um, I want to hear about other people's um, experience with disability, physical, mental, invisible. Um, I really want to hear about it. Um, but um, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, please let me know in the comments. Please like, subscribe, um, and I will be back with another one.